Hi, this is Paul Meyer. People have been telling me that they've been missing getting out into the Arboretum this spring and also getting out to see some private gardens that they normally would make a point to visit. So we're putting together this short video to invite you in to see our garden and we hope that when this COVID emergency ends that you'll be able to come in person. Our garden is in Chestnut Hill. It was previously the home of Mickey and Ellie Lloyd and we were fortunate to be able to move into a garden that uh, the Lloyds had been developing for uh, many decades. This is the dooryard garden. Last fall I was able to uh, plant a lot of uh, daffodils, so they're all at their peak right now in uh, early April. This is a fine specimen of Edgeworthia. It started blooming in late January and still is continuing right into early April. It's pretty much finished now, but uh, soon the bold uh, textured foliage will be coming out. Last spring we planted these Korean pears and started training them as espaliers on the fence. I was delighted to see the heavy flower set uh, that has come out and we're hopeful that we're going to have a great pear set uh, by autumn. The garden is defined by large holly trees, azaleas and rhododendrons, and we've been planting the understory with woodland wildflowers and lots of ferns. One of my favorite spring ephemerals is Bleeding Heart, Dicentra spectaboli. This plant was moved here from Bloomfield where it had naturalized over the years. This time of the year, the ostrich ferns seem to change by the day. They're literally leaping out of the ground. The most dramatic feature of the garden is an alley of Kusa dogwoods. This feature is beautiful every season of the year, but is especially spectacular when it blooms in late May and early June. Our garden is really quite small, it's less than a quarter of an acre, so it's important to take advantage of the borrowed landscape. Here we have a beautiful view across our fence to a neighbor's saucer magnolia. Fothergilla major is a large shrub with white bottle brush flowers this time of the year. It was introduced by the Bartrams and named after their patron, a London physician, John Fothergill. This is Incianthus periolatus J. alpenic. It was introduced and patented by the Morris Arboretum and named after one of the Arboretum heroes, Lyddon Pennock. This particular plant I brought to the Lloyds as a gift many years ago and, and physically planted it right on this site. Little did I realize that someday I'd be inheriting this plant. I hope you've enjoyed this short tour of our garden and hope you'll come by and visit once the emergency passes.